Hi, my name is Catherine, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to use wax medium as a protective coating over absorbent surfaces such as watercolors, um, photographs, and prints. So I'm going to describe my basic setup. Um, I have a pancake griddle here. It's set at around 175 degrees Fahrenheit. And I have a tin of wax medium. Uh, wax medium is a blend of Damar resin and pharmaceutical grade beeswax. And then I have a hockey brush, which is made from goat hair bristles. And I like to use the hockey brush because the bristles are so soft and it's great for applying thin layers, which is what I'm going to want. Um, I like to also leave the, the brush um, coming in contact with the heat because it keeps the bristles nice and warm. Um, I've also got some pottery tools, which I'm going to use for scraping, paper towels, and a heat gun. To begin, you just simply dip your hockey brush into your wax medium and methodically lay your first layer of wax medium over your surface. I like to use the hot palette to keep my bristles nice and warm and to load up my brush with plenty of wax medium. And you can see I'm using a crosshatch fashion just to make sure that I get all the surface coated. After it's cooled, you'll want to use your scraper to remove excess wax medium. The wider scraper just sort of fine tunes and gets rid of any um, additional excess layers of wax medium. After you finish scraping off excess wax medium, it's time to fuse. Fusing allows the wax medium to bond to your surface. And you do this by gently heating your wax medium um, using a circular motion and bringing that wax back up to a workable state. Once that's cooled off a little, you're going to want to put on a second layer of wax medium. Notice it gets a little milky, but that will go away ultimately. And before you fuse, you'll want to scrape off any excess. I'm using the smaller pottery loop to trim my edges. Uh, that's completely optional. And then uh, with each layer of wax medium, it's always important that you fuse afterwards. And then that fusing process further smooths out the layer of wax medium so you get a really nice, super shiny, smooth surface. Okay, so now I've finished fusing and um, you can repeat that process as much as you need to or feel like you want. Uh, the more wax medium that's on the surface of your print or watercolor or photograph, the more obscured it's going to become. Uh, the thinner the layers, the more transparent. So basically at this point all I need to do is be patient, let it cool off, and later on, probably tomorrow, I'll buff it with either silk or nylon or old t-shirt, something soft, soft pressure, and bring up the shine, and it'll be ready to hang on the wall. I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you.